Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to install the Kali Linux on Apple Silicon. This is compatible for M1, M2 and M3, all new Apple Silicon chips. In my previous video, I have discussed how you can install the VMware Fusion inside the Apple Silicon. In this video, we are going to discuss how you can download the Kali Linux from the Kali website and how you can install the Kali Linux inside the VMware Fusion. First of all, we have to download the ISO file which is compatible with the M1, M2 and M3, simply Apple Silicon. This is a little bit different because Apple Silicons are now with the ARM-based architecture. So we have to download Kali Linux ARM-based version. First of all, we need to Google the Kali download and we need to go Kali download page like this and you have to select the installer image over here and when you go down you can see there's an option for 64 bit and 32 bit which is old architecture I mean Windows compatible architecture means Intel or AMD but here we are interested in Apple Silicon ARM64 here you can see three different installer versions, which means IO, ISO images. We are going to download the recommended one over here, which is 3.3 GB is the capacity. And I'm going to download this. The file download being started, we will wait until it download. And then we will look at how we can install this image inside the VMware Fusion. Okay, so the file already been downloaded which is inside my download folder here if I go there I can see my Kali Linux installer in here now we need to navigate to the VMware Fusion and click this plus icon and click new and then you can drag and drop your ISO here you can either import it or you can simply drag and drop like this and you can simply select this and click continue this is Linux you can select either one I think it's fine and then click next and you can customize your virtual machine name where you want to save it what about the RAM and everything and then click finish and I am going to save this one in here in my default location and click save it's already done and it's starting I have to allow this I'm going to install with graphical yes and click continue with the English and we just have to wait a little bit again click continue you can select either country you want. I'm going with default, which is United States. American English, if you want to select your native language, you can select it and click continue. This is like usual installation process, which is similar to Windows and any other platform. You can simply follow these steps, which is very simple and very user friendly. We need to wait for these configurations network and all the stuff if you want I can maximize this it just configuring the network then you can put your host name I'm just going with default because it's easy for me to demonstrate and I don't want to connect this with any domains which is blank click continue again and you need to have a name for the user I'm going with ghost you can add any name, your name or whatever you like and click continue. Yeah, this is my username. Continue. And you need to add password. Simply I'm adding a password here. You can use simple password, which is fine because this is for lab setup and click continue. And yeah, I'm going with default. You can choose whatever or you can choose appropriate one, suitable one for you. And click continue it just configuring the um, clock and everything and now it's going to the partitioning page I'm going to use entire disk because this is virtual machine I have used 
maybe 8 GB. I don't remember the number. Yep, it's 8.6 GB. And click continue. Yeah, all file in one partition. I'm going with default. If you want, you can definitely change these ones, but default is easier for me. And yeah, I'm finishing the partition. Here, the partition which is available, you can change it if you want. I'm not going to do anything and click continue and I'm going to write the changes. Here you need to select yes. If you say no, you will go back again and click yes and continue. Now it is installing the Kali Linux into our VMware Fusion virtual machine. You need to wait a little bit for this. It is installing different different components. Once it installed we will get back again you will get this window while you are installing this maybe you can go with default if you want genome or kd plasma themes you can install it here but i am very happy to go with the default one so i am click continue for that because i want to go with the default again yep and it is installing the component now the installation is completed you can click continue to reboot the system and it will boot up with the Kali Linux it will take a little time you can use your created account while you are setting up the process and your password there we are we are inside the Kali Linux so you can open the terminal simply you can do the update like this or you can upgrade and you can check the network and other connectivity if you need to install any other packages you can simply do that as well this is how we can install the Kali Linux inside the Apple Silicon I hope you guys enjoyed this video we'll catch up with next video. Thank you.